Well, I'd like to uh, talk with you a bit more about uh, some of the properties of charcoal. One is that it is inert inside the human body, and uh, so you don't have to expect that it's going to do you some harm if you overdose. In fact, overdosing on charcoal is almost impossible. It does tend to make the bowels a little bit slow or sluggish. Some people feel that if they took too much, it would actually cause them to have a, a binding up of the bowel, but that really isn't true. Uh, if you drink enough water, it will pass through even though it may be a little sluggish. The reason for its being sluggish is that it attaches to the mucus in the bowel, and that makes it move more slowly through the bowel. But uh, that isn't a great problem to you if you uh, simply uh, work with it with a lot of water, and sometimes an enema might also be necessary. Now, uh, the slurry water that uh, John Champlin was talking with you about, when, it, when the black part falls down to the bottom, you could see that it was turning gray already up at the top part, it will, uh, it will eventually be almost clear, but there are some uh, submicroscopic particles that, uh, sus that are suspended in the water, and that does do some good for you as uh, you take it and it is passed through the intestinal tract. When you take it internally, it uh, acts sort of like a, a little mini dialysis, and it's, it's not going to cause you a great problem. Now, as to how to get a child to take it, another suggestion, I really hope you don't have one of these on hand in your uh, household, but if you should have a chocolate container in your, I hope your children don't drink chocolate because it's not a good drink for them. It's too much sugar, it's too much of various things. But uh, if you should have a chocolate container in your home, pour the charcoal water in there, put a straw in it, and uh, invite your child to drink, and tell them, drink it fast. And as they follow your instructions, they'll get a lot of it down. Now, uh, for a child, don't make up a large quantity like uh, John Champion did with, uh, for an adult dose. Just make up a small amount, but you still use a tablespoonful, because chances are you're not going to get it all down for the child, so you want to make it fairly thick and have them drink it as quickly as you can. You can even mask the, the uh, mask it so that it's got a little flavor to it. It actually doesn't have any flavor. It just feels a little gritty in the mouth. So you can mask that a little bit by uh, putting some kind of flavoring or maybe just a little bit of honey with it, but not very much. Because sometimes something that you might put with it might encourage absorption of some poison that the child might have taken. Now, um, uh, so far as overdosing with charcoal, it, uh, some people think that it's going to take up their nutrients if they, um, if they use a lot of it. But actually, uh, interestingly enough, and for reasons which we do not understand at all from the standpoint of physics and chemistry, the charcoal granule does not take up nutrients well at all. And therefore, a person who has been poisoned by, let's say, iron pills or vitamin pills or zinc pills, they can just about forget about charcoal. It's not going to be very helpful because it doesn't take up these uh, nutrient substances. So it will not give you uh, a long-term malnutrition if you take charcoal on a regular basis.